To create a single invoice, go to the Invoicing tab from your navigation bar and click Create Invoice. First, choose your date range if needed. The date fields are located at the top right. Please note that the start date is not checked by default as the system knows the last time you billed your client. Choosing a specific start date will give you control to not include any unbilled activity prior to that date. Your billing through date is the date you would like your activity to stop at. Normally, this would be through the end of your previous month. From here, you will see the list of all clients and projects that currently have unbilled activity during the date range you choose. Check the boxes to the far left of the clients and projects you would like to bill. You will then see checkboxes appear in the center and to the right of your selected clients. The center boxes are your labor and expense items. Here you can uncheck your labor items box if you just want to bill for the expenses at this time, or vice versa. To the right, you have the ability to bill projects separately. Say for example, you have multiple projects under a client. If the boxes to the right are unchecked, that means that all projects will show on one invoice, subgroup per project, and grand total at the bottom of your invoice. If you want each project to show up on separate invoices, you can check the boxes to the right. Right now we are going to stick to a single invoice, but watch the Create Batch Invoice tutorial for more information on separating projects and batching invoices next. Once you choose the client you want, scroll back to the top and click the Save button. At this point, you are at the pre-bill. From here, you can make adjustments or changes to the invoice as needed. Top left, you can change the invoice or billing through date. You can also add a discount to your invoice. A discount can either be set up as a percentage or flat fee. You can then decide if you want the discount to apply to either labor, expenses, or both. On the right-hand side, you can also write up or write down your invoice totals to adjust them as needed. You can change your invoice description or add an invoice note, and for all options above, make sure to hit the Save button for those options to stick. When you scroll down, you will be able to see the time and expenses within this invoice. If you need to make adjustment to the entries, simply click on an entry to open it, make any adjustments as needed, and click Save and Close. Once the entry is saved, the pre-bill will automatically adjust with those changes. The Invoice Summary tab allows you to quickly summarize your client's invoice. The Payments tab allows you to receive a new payment for this invoice or apply an existing payment from your client's account to this invoice. Once you've verified everything on your invoice is complete, you can go ahead and finalize the invoice. Finalizing the invoice will remove the pre-bill watermark on the invoice so you can send it to your client. You can print the invoice or create PDFs to save to your computer. If you're on the Bill for Time Legal Pro plan, you'll have the option to export your invoices into a leads file. You will also have the option to email your client their invoice through the client portal. Click the email button and fill in all the required details so you can quickly and easily send your invoices to your clients. You can click the phrase, click here to generate invoice link, to generate a link and see what the invoice would look like when your client receives the email. The client portal displays your client's invoice and allows them to print or create a PDF of their invoice. If you have your account integrated with LawPay, PayPal, Stripe, or a custom link, your clients will be able to quickly pay their invoice right online. To learn more, make sure to watch the client portal tutorial. If you've finalized an invoice and realize additional changes need to be made, simply click the Unfinalize button at the top of the invoice. This will put it back to a pre-bill state so you can make additional changes to the invoice. If you are not ready to send the invoice to your client, click the Delete button. This will move the entries back to an unbilled state so you can invoice them again at a later time. Thank you for watching the Create Invoice tutorial. Please click to continue watching for the next video in the series.